everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be talking about five different things you can do to speed up your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, if you're watching this video and you notice that some of these menus look a little bit different than yours, that's only because this is running on Android 10, and all of these features and all these changes you're able to do on Android 9. Now, the first thing that I always do when I first get my Samsung phone is I go inside of the settings and I go all the way down so I can unlock the developer options. Now, the first thing I do is I change the animator scale and transition scale, window scale, because it allows you to go from screen to screen faster. And sometimes this small little change does a world of wonders. So what we're going to do is head down into about phone and then underneath about phone, click on your software information and then underneath the build number just tap this seven times now once you tap it seven times it'll unlock developer options and you go back to screens now once you're back to the main settings menu you'll see that developer options has been unlocked on the very bottom and once you turn it on you want to go right around halfway through this entire list and what you're looking for is window scale transition scale and animator scale so what I do is I go underneath the window and transition and I turn off the animator animation and then underneath the animator duration scale I put it at the 0.5x because sometimes this will unlock a few things when you're on your main page or your main home screens and I'll show you that in just a second so originally this is at 1x now what this does as a example is you can see how long it takes for it to come on up and if we go to times five you're gonna see that it goes even slower now with you being at 1x it's a little bit quicker than what we see here but when you have it turned off you're not gonna have any of that little animator you don't need animation to go from screen to screen so you might as well turn it off same thing with transition now with this animator scale pretty much what it's doing is let's say that I press and hold on an icon or an application you can see that it's being animated and it gives you options right here so like let's say that I go to YouTube and I press and hold I can check out what is trending subscriptions and I can search it's bouncing and that's what you want to keep it on with that 0.5 so that's the first way to make your phone go a little bit quicker and you're really just taking away some animation. Now the next steps, this is where it's going to change for you if your setup is not on Android 10, but all of this will be on your Android 9. So go inside of your settings, you're gonna scroll down to where it says device care and you're gonna do multiple things. Now there's a couple of these that once you turn it on, it's on and you never have to do it again but the other ones you're able to optimize it now so it can optimize clear data clear cache get rid of things close things that you don't need to have open and it'll help your phone go a little bit quicker so what we're going to do is we're going to first go on the very top and inside of my advanced you're going to look for the auto optimization so it's a way that it can optimize your phone automatically for you and i usually have it happening at 3 a.m every single day so this way uh, it, it's a point when you're not using your phone so it'll basically close your recently used applications, your unnecessary files, uh, but it's not gonna affect your personal data. So this auto optimization is something to turn on uh, and it'll usually do it right around three o'clock, probably on stock with your device. Now let's go underneath the battery and inside of battery, this is where you wanna go through your power mode. So probably originally it's all set up through Optimize, which gives you the recommended balance of performance and battery life, but you are able to go to the higher performance. And underneath high performance, you get higher system speed and the highest quality display settings, uh, but it does use a little bit more battery. Now, the reason why the high performance mode states that it gets higher system speeds and higher quality display settings is because of these two options here. So it will use more battery if you go to the plus 5% and plus 10%. But for me, I'm gonna keep it as no increase. It's not gonna change what I already have. And for your screen resolution, you can either have it on full HD plus, which is one way to also conserve battery and it still looks good, or you can do the WQHD. Now, once you hit on apply, it's just gonna make your phone go a little bit quicker, higher performance. Uh, it's gonna put all these different, you know, your phone sometimes will limit itself to 70% to kind of save some of its batteries. So you can see how your phone's gonna go quite a bit quicker with this setting here. Now that your power mode is turned on, you don't have to change that one ever again. Now you can go underneath your storage and underneath storage, this is something that you can do daily. If you hit that optimize now, this will also do it, but you can clear some of this random storage stuff. It sometimes happens between phone restarts and cash and things that you know it's not getting rid of you know your personal data again and then underneath the memory you can look inside of here if there's anything that it needs to clean out and this is just all of the different 
uh, stuff that's happening between your application. So like Find My Mobile, and if you've used applications in the past, but you haven't used it lately, uh, you might as well just clear this as well too. So really what you just did was you fully optimize your phone to do basically this optimization automatically at 3 a.m. I manually went through uh, the storage and memory to get rid of all that stuff that's just clutter that's just sitting there changing the animation scales and then really underneath battery putting it on high performance mode but not really increasing uh the screen brightness now if you do put it on that wqhd it will be taking a little bit more battery but you can keep it on the full hd plus but still get those quicker speeds but that is it. That's all you would have to do to get your phone to go a little bit quicker. One thing I would also suggest is just do a fast restart. Just restart your phone, turn it right back on, and it's restarting with all of these settings that you just turned on. But that's just my own little uh, opinion. I always state that you should restart your phone at least once a week. Uh, it's just like a computer. You don't want to have it always running. You have to turn it off at some point in time. And the same thing with your TV and everything else. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you liked this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later